What up channel, this is 4Play and this is the Clutch Breakdown powered by Gamma Lab. In case you guys don't know what this is, this is my first episode of the Clutch Breakdown where I'm going to break down my clutches, whether it's a 1v3, 1v4, and no matter what it is, what I'm thinking. First when the round starts, um, I'm going to break it down like this. I get a good stun and a good nade, but the nade's not going to connect and kill anybody. I'm going to get a hit marker. Stain dies on the left side of the street, so I know i got to be weary that this guy's going to push up. I kind of do the whole prone and go thing because I'm not sure if he's there. When I see Dito die, that means I know the map opened up. I'm going to push this guy initially because I know in search, you got to take somebody out if you're trying to clutch. You want to take him out early. So now it's a 1v2. Now I'm just going to peek the middle. I don't think they're going B, so I think they're setting up for an A plant. And what I'm going to do here is rotate. I'm going to catch this guy sleeping on the ground. Since he was set up there, the bomb is going to be planted A. That guy had what is called a cutoff. So now I need to push around. And what I like to do when I'm trying to clutch is don't go on the inside of the map. Go on the outside of the map, flood him to the inside because you know he's going to be either chilling like on the outside or he's going to be forced on the inside. So I'm going to push up here, check some corners, and since there's only 23 seconds, I want to click the bomb. He's kind of going to get turned on a little bit, shit on on the head spot, and that's the clutch breakdown. Exactly what I was thinking. 1v3. I hope the next one I can get a 1v4 and show you. Um, I had some really good Black Ops ones that I wanted to get up, but new content, so it's time for a change. Either way, this is the Clutch Breakdown, powered by Gamma Labs. I hope it helps. This is 4Play, the Ego Killer Nation. I'm out. Nice work, squad. Get ready for the next job.